Hello there dear YouTubers, my name is King1993 and today I'll be trying my best to explain the following character which is called Pato Felix which has been recently added to the game. So without further ado, let's get started. Now do remember that this is a beginner's guide only. So for the beginners, I suggest that you watch the whole video and as for the meta people, please go to some other people to actually see the video of how to use her, okay? So with the, uh, without further ado, let's get started. Now, uh, as I've said, today's character is called Pato Felix. That is basically her name, but the Rebellious Calico or RC uh, remote control is basically her uh, battle suit name. Okay, now here is the thing uh, she is considered as a support character in the game. Okay, now how do you know if she is considered as a support character? If you go to the tactical class, and then you will see that Rebellious Calico will appear here. And once you go to the team synergy, you will see that Rebellious Calico is basically in these places. Okay, so it basically means that. As uh, uh, Silver Wing next is basically the main DPS and she is considered as a support. Okay, now the question is where does her support comes from? Her support basically comes from her ultimate. Okay, so when you use her ultimate, which will basically cost about 125 SP. So after uh, consuming that amount of SP, what will happen is she will be able to perform her ultimate, and when the ultimate is performed, it basically creates a field. Ice damage dealing field and it will basically do ice damage dealing up to 2000%. That is a lot actually. Okay, for 10 seconds. Now, here is another thing that you can get even more buff out of our weapon and the stick matter set. Now, when it comes to the weapon, let's go to this section here. Now, her weapon is called Purana Phantasma, which will eventually be uh, upgraded as a pre arm and then it will be basically called uh, Purama, Purana Phantasma Night Eye. Okay, now. Once you have this weapon, you will see that a team ice damage dealing will increase by 20% for 10 seconds. And then once uh, you go even lower, now this is active and this is the passive. Now for the passive, team total damage dealing will increase by another 12%. Okay. And last but not least is whenever there is going to be a ice damage dealer on the team. Okay. Then what will happen is ultimate cooldown is going to be reduced by 30%. Okay. So any ice damage dealer, it doesn't matter who they are, if they are on the team, their overall ultimate cooldown is going to be reduced by 30%. So that is basically how her support comes from, okay? Now, other than that, what about her uh, stigma asset? Now, her recommended stigma asset is considered as a, 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 this feline guardian or whatever it is called. It is called busted, okay? So this busted stigma asset, if you want to do ice uh damage ceiling then at first if you were to get this t uh, i suggest that you try to go for this t because what will happen is once you equip this uh, every time okay you freeze an enemies uh, the freezed enemies will take 30 percent more ice damage ceiling okay so this is the first one you should be trying to go for now the second one which you should try to go for is this b that is because uh what will happen is freezing enemies will restore 10 sp every 8 seconds okay and afterwards okay once you have this t m sorry t and b only then go for this m now why because this m is gonna be useful only on uh part of Phyllis only okay or rc only now if you were to look at the set bonuses then you will see that once you were to have these two then this will be activated uh, total 50% uh, more ice uh, uh, damage dealing boost okay for 15 seconds which is good okay but once you ha have the three pieces what will happen is the 30% uh, total damage will increase for whom for uh, part to Phyllis but if you were to use this freeze effect okay uh, like three pieces freeze effect the freeze effect inflicted by team uh, members last 20% uh, longer so if you want to extend the period of freeze effect okay then obviously this uh, uh, third pieces is gonna be the best option here okay so I suggest that you do the following at first go for T then go for B and then go for M okay so now the question remains is okay she is considered as an I support uh, character in the game but how big is her support well, if I were to talk about her support, then here is a chart which was made by Marisa Hunkai. Now, here's the thing. Uh, when it comes to every type of elemental buff, 
Azura Empire was considered as a max tier elemental support character in that team, okay? Sorry, in that game, okay? But here's the thing. Uh, now, since Pratt of Felix is now available, if you were to give all of the uh, weapon and the stigma asset to Azura Empire and to Pratt of Felix as well, Pratt of Felix will outperform Azura Empire by a 100 or maybe 200 points. So that is still a lot when it comes to a meta point of view. But as a beginner point of view, if you are planning on using any type of elemental buff besides Azure Empire, yeah, then Pardofilis is gonna be yours another best option. Okay. So if you were to have Pardofilis, who is gonna be good for using her in the what should I call it uh, memorial arena, okay. If you want to use Pardofilis in memorial arena for ice damage, then Pardofilis is gonna be your primary option. Now once you have used to Felix and you still want to do another type of ice damage dealing to another enemy in the what should I call it a memorial arena only then your secondary option is going to be Azure Empire okay so that much good uh, how that much how good uh, Pratophilis is so Pratophilis is basically the first uh, support uh, Valkyrie character in the game who basically can outperform Azure Empire okay so that is basically how it goes now uh in case if you're wondering okay then uh why do i not have her well the thing is she's gonna be available for free in a matter of few more days okay so, which is why i do not want to get her using crystals but what i do plan on getting is her weapon why because for the stigmata set it actually is a lot of grinding to get a stigmata set using the crystal so I would rather not do that because it is bothersome for me. For example, there are overall 72, uh, sorry, 73, including uh, Patrophilis uh, battle source here, okay? And I cannot provide every uh, stigmata set for every one of them, okay? So that is not possible for me. So, obviously, from that point of perspective, getting uh, all of these uh, stigmata set, okay, is not gonna be possible for me. But what is possible for me is to get these. Uh, a signature weapon so that at least uh, my battlefields can able to do a decent amount of damage to the enemies okay now <laughs> that is basically it but also at the same time it seems like a hard uh, stigmata set is made in such a way that if we, uh, you were to use this stigmata set on what should I call it? Like if you were to use this stigmata set on a uh, Hexor Bunny, even Hexor Bunny will be able to take care of uh, this stigmata set. That's basically how it looks like. So it seems like uh, this uh, part of list is gonna be eventually added to this uh, uh, stigmata force section. Uh, like I'm thinking maybe she will be added to this stigmata force section as a G3 ice support dealer, ice support uh, stigmata set okay that is basically what it seems like because if you were to read the description here the description uh, here is for let's say Huha Margrave especially these hard pieces is a lot more complicated like it must need to be a precise in order to get full advantage out of the third pieces here but if you were to read the description here as you can see here the fire heart active this can only be happened with Azure Empire only, but uh, when it comes to the stigmata set for Pardofelis, the Pardofelis stigmata set it basically looks like it is made in such a way that in case if you do not have, uh, let's say, a certain stigmata set for other uh, characters in the game, such as Hexor Bunny, this stigmata set, uh, like all three of them, is gonna be useful for them. So, basically, what I am trying to say is there is a high possibility that this stigmata set might become a G3 ice support grindable stigmata set in the uh, in the what should I call it stigmata force section okay so that is basically what I think is gonna happen okay so other than that if you find this video interesting then uh, another topic I forgot that I am planning on getting this weapon 
uh, one week later okay now why would i get this weapon one week later because uh one week later what will happen is this banner is gonna change and this banner is gonna turn into what should i call it a uh, stratagem nix banner okay so once i get a stratagem nix from the stratagem nix banner only then i will try to go for this weapon okay so that is basically it so if you find this uh, video useful regarding how you should be using Patrofelis, okay then please give a like and subscribe and click the bell notification icons to get more of this type of topic and if you want to use herself sorry use this character okay then you can basically go to this tactical class and you can basically train your uh, game reflexes to see if you are actually capable of uh, playing her right after you get her okay so it, that is basically it okay so uh, see you again next time whenever uh, another new information which will be added to the game maybe the new information which i will be talking about is the elysian bell which i will talk about it later okay so goodbye and stay safe